Good morning and welcome to weekly vlog number 61. I'm here with my Nora. Say hi, she's pulled off her sock. We're sitting on our bed without um, sheets on because the sheets I just threw into the wash. It's Sunday morning. I figured I would wash all of our sheets and all of our towels today and finish our laundry for the week. I've been working on it. Last night, I stayed up until about midnight styling my hair <laughs> because what else am I going to do in quarantine? I promise I won't talk about my hair this entire vlog like the previous vlog or two, but I just want to share with what you mm -hmm. you yeah, Nora's been saying mama also, which I'll try to get on camera. She sort of just said it now. Hi, precious. Um, so I, I will overlay some footage of what it looked like last night and then you can see what it looks like this morning because that's what's on my head right now. So I use the Pacifica curl cream, pineapple dream curl cream. I will link it below. And then I wrapped up my hair into, um, this little hair twist thing and I left it up on top of my head for two hours. <laughs> Yes, and after two hours, I diffused it with this giant diffuser I got on Amazon that's like the mother load of all diffusers. And so then you can see that's what it looked like last night. And then I slept with it loosely on top of my head, and I'm really happy with it. I mean, it's not super frizzy, it's wavy, it, you know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah. So like I said, I'll link the products below, but just a little update on my wavy hair journey. Um, it was like super low, like easy to do. It wasn't, didn't take 50 different steps. I'm happy with the products I used. The diffuser was great. Overall, really good. So today Riley's in the middle of making banana pancakes, banana chocolate chip pancakes, which are one of our very favorites. So we're really excited about that. And like I said, I'm going to work on getting the house in order today. I spent, we took a long walk yesterday and, um, I worked on Etsy yesterday, but I'm not going to do that today. We're going to try to rest and just kind of get the house reset for the week. And Nora says, welcome to another weekly vlog. Got a haircut. Oh yeah, I gave Riley a haircut yesterday. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. At first it was a mullet. Yeah. We worked on that. Gnarly. Yeah. So what are you doing? I'm going to make banana and chocolate chip pancakes, bacon in the oven, sausage up there, and then I'll do eggs. Yum. On TikTok, I saw somebody make um, fried eggs with, you crack an egg and you fry it and then you put cheese while the other side's cooking and then you flip it over and you cook the cheese side so the cheese gets crispy like this. And um, I tried it yesterday and it was delicious, so I'm making it again. It's super, really good. What are you guys doing? Nora's playing with my ear. Nornie, what are you doing? She got her little toes around your face. Yeah, she's very happy. Hey, bug. <laughs> All right, we've got fresh towels in the bathroom and fresh sheets on the bed. Doesn't that look so inviting? You just want to hop in and go to sleep. It smells so good in here with all the fresh laundry. It feels good to get that done. For dinner tonight, we're having a nice big meal because we did brunch, but then we didn't have anything since then. So these are roasted balsamic sweet potatoes, some steamed broccoli, some beans, and then we did grilled chicken and grilled pineapple. Delicious. All right, I just cleaned up the kitchen. I'm making myself some coffee and I'm gonna get to packaging Etsy orders. I think I have about 70 to package up tonight. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. I'm here with my Nora bug. Yeah. And um, we're up and moving. It is a weird day outside. My watch says it's like 70 degrees, but it looks really dark and stormy. So I need to check the weather and see whether or not it's gonna storm today. Well, I don't need to, I just want to. I'm gonna get my day going, get something to eat, some coffee. I definitely am ready for some coffee. I wasn't planning on packaging orders yesterday and I ended up just deciding it's so much easier to do when Riley's home, so it's better to do on the weekend. So I packaged up 140, a little more than 140 orders. 
um, which is a lot. So I'm feeling it today, I'm tired, but I'm really thankful for the business and I'm thankful that I got it done. And I only have, I think about 70 or 80 left total, which is amazing because I had many more than that. Um, again, I'm just so grateful for the business. So if you ordered something, thank you. Speaking of which, I didn't plan this, but I just wear this shirt or one of my other three shirts pretty much every day, my home body forever. That's certainly what it feels like, isn't it, Nora? Yeah, she slept well last night though, so that was great because we all needed a good night's sleep, I think. Yeah. Riley might be getting his truck today. He has um, whittled it down to two different trucks, so we're all crossing our fingers that he makes a decision. Something that was really neat is that the truck that he drives now was his dad, and his dad sadly passed away about 20 years ago but this was his dad's truck. And um, Riley found it and when he, or he, found, he was looking through the glove compartment of his truck and he found the receipt that his, from his dad buying the truck and his dad purchased the truck 19 years ago today. It was April 27th of 2001. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. Um, like little connection so I told him that he has to buy it today because then it, that would be really neat but he's sort of like well we'll see so anyway that was just kind of a funny thing to find um, a little kiss from heaven from his daddy anyway we're gonna get our day going welcome to it Laura, can you say mama? Mama. 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 Here's my lunch for today. Some leftovers from last night plus a couple of extras. So grilled chicken leftover from last night sliced up, some beans leftover from last night, and then I have half an avocado with lime juice and salt and pepper, some strawberries and some cheese. I finally changed our, um, what are these things called? Letter folk board. Now it said, it, it used to say Nora, like welcome home Nora. Um, she'll be six months old in a few days, so it was time. Now it says Lamb Fam Quarantine 2020. Um, I have a lot of laundry to fold. Ooh. I have a lot of laundry to fold. And um, it's a gorgeous day out though, so I might take a walk with Nora in a little while. I'm gonna check in with Riley and see what time he plans on coming home. I know he's going to the dealership today for more truck stuff. Um, I'll be glad when that's over because that's been like a daily event. <laughs> but I know he has a lot, a lot of conversations to have over there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah! Okay. All right, it's a whipped coffee kind of afternoon. So if you have not been around here or anywhere on the internet, because this has been everywhere, it's equal parts sugar, Instant coffee, which looks like this. Instant coffee and hot water. And then you just whip it until it becomes whipped coffee. Looks like this. Very thick and delicious. And then you put some of it on top of iced milk. And it is, and then you mix it all together and it is like absolutely so delicious. And I was just craving some. Yeah. Say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's everyone doing out there in Blair Blocks? <laughs> I'm putting makeup on for the first time in a week. Yeah, story of all of our lives. And washed my hair first time in a couple days. Glamorous, you should make a video for Chesapeake Health Coaching. Oh yes, I'm very glamorous. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Nora. 
Nora. Nora. Nora. It's that time of week for me to bake. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this week. I'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies. Last time I made chocolate chip cookies on a vlog, everyone was asking me, not everyone, I had a handful of people ask me what recipe I use. My grandmother always used, uses this recipe. So that's the recipe I use. Yum. The most glorious sight. I just finished baking my cookies. There's something so therapeutic about baking, isn't there? I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna freeze half of these and the other half will pick off of for snacks or dessert this week, but yeah, I'm sorry for the dishwasher noise. I just started running it. Also, we have a small amount of rice, 25 pounds of rice. <laughs> One of my friends was going to Sam's Club and she texted me and said, is there anything that you need? And I said, I cannot find rice. Every time I order it, I've tried for the past five or something grocery pickups and I cannot get it. She said, well, I'm going to Sam's Club and I will drop it off on your doorstep. She said, but they only have giant bags. And I said, that's fine, I, we can use it. But this is huge. Look at that. Hand for size, <laughs> for scale. Oh well, we'll get like, Maybe a um, container or something. We can probably use this for the next year and a half. Hey guys, it's about 11 o'clock now and I am putting these cookies away to store them. Um, we have had a good evening, pretty uneventful. Riley uh, didn't get his truck today, but he is planning on getting it tomorrow if everything goes well, so. Um, he actually just cleared out a spot in the garage because, unfortunately, they're calling for hail tomorrow, which is not a good thing when you have a new vehicle. So, but we're really excited for him. We did a whole bunch of laundry this evening, like loads and loads of laundry. Got that all put away, all of Nora's and all of ours. All of our hampers are totally empty, which is like a huge accomplishment in these days and times. So. I'm gonna head to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Charlie. <laughs> I just wanted to show that I decanted, why is the coloring so bad right now? I decanted the rice, some of it anyway, obviously, and this is not 25 pounds, into this container. I was looking on Amazon for a container and um, they were like 15 bucks and I thought, oh my gosh, I have one that looks so similar. This I think I bought for cereal several years ago, but it's airtight and it's perfect and it'll be a lot easier to pour a small amount of rice out using this rather than having that giant bag. So that's our solution. I think it's a pretty good one. All right, what are you going to do? I'm going to get my truck, I think. I'm still, ha I'm still haggling. No, it's it's the day. I don't know. I'm not happy. I'm not very good at that. It's it's probably gonna be the day. So exciting! So excited! Good luck, baby! Thank you. Can't wait to see you in your new truck. I know. Ooh, ooh so big. Let's see if it fits in the garage. Yeah. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday now. Riley, as you saw, is on his way to the dealership to finalize paperwork and get his new truck and we're so i'm so excited for him his truck is 21 years old it has some special significance um, and sentimental value because his dad passed away about two decades ago and it was his dad's truck um, so this morning he asked if we could go outside and he wanted to take a bunch of pictures of the truck and of him in the truck and then we took a bunch of pictures of him and nora and just nora in the truck which is really cute just for sentimental reasons i asked him if he was sad about it and he was like you know I, I don't really attach it as strongly as I once did because I've had this, he's been driving it for so, so long. So um, anyway, but it was really sweet. And then once we get his new one, we'll have to go ahead and take some more pictures. Right, Nora? She says yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Anyway, we're having a really good morning. I just had some coffee. I'm on my second cup. I'm feeling kind of hyped up and ready to go which is great a good feeling <laughs> all right hey guys i just got back from a one hour walk with my nora 
it is so hot outside. It's like 85 degrees and humid. It feels like a beach day. Whew. I like power walked, but it felt so, it feels so good to get outside. Doesn't it get feel good to get outside? Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here. I have my water. I'm gonna sit here and drink some water and then nurse my Nora. Riley should be home in the next few minutes. Yeah. And um, I'll probably hop in a cool shower once he gets home. And then we'll probably go take a family ride in his new car. Hey guys, we are taking our maiden voyage in Riley's new truck. What'd you decide on, babe? I went with the Ford F-150. It was my last choice um, when I first started shopping, but then I started driving them and they're the biggest, I think. God, I don't even look like crammed in here at all. I know. Keep your eyes on the road. Look how much room he has above his head. And he's six foot four. So usually cars are really, trucks, cars, any kind of vehicle is really tight. It has this nice big touch screen and all kinds of storage. I'm still trying to learn it. How do you open this out? You push the button. Nice big back seat for Nora. Quiet. So quiet. Oh, it's so nice. I'm so happy for you. Me too, this is great, I'm so happy. Nora's in her little attached seat to the top part of our bar here. And we gave her some kitchen things to play with and she's having a great time. And we made some Mexican white queso for dinner. I mean, this actually, probably I'll only have this and some chips because I'm really not that hungry. I had a big lunch, but Riley's gonna have this and I think he's gonna make um, burrito or some tacos or nachos or something, but it's like Riley's best day ever right now between his truck and some cheese sauce. I'll leave a link to this recipe below. It's super good. Look at that. So delicious. Good morning. It's Wednesday and Nora's up here playing with a princess book, a container, a lid, and a passy. This seat is the best. Let me show you it. Here's what it looks like. It's this little seat and it clamps on um, and you kind of screw this thing. <clears throat> you twist it and it clamps really tightly. I feel like I could sit in this. I mean, it is like so stable. But she absolutely loves it and it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect for her to sit here while I'm cooking or whatever in the morning, isn't it? Yeah, and I can give you all kinds of things to play with. All kinds of things. Clearly haven't got myself together yet. Riley is home from work today. He um, has been out fiddling around in his truck all morning, which I totally understand. He's so, I'm so excited for him. He's so excited. Our whole family's excited. It was so fun going and taking a drive yesterday. Um, we had huge, huge, huge storms roll through last night. 70 mile per hour winds, giant, I mean, just thunderstorms, wind ever. It was like chaos, craziness. We didn't lose power or internet or anything like that, so I'm really grateful for that. Bless you, everything so far looks fine. Um, like around our neighborhood, it doesn't look like any big trees fell down or anything like that, but it's always 70 miles an hour, um, 70 mile an hour winds are like no joke, so you never really know how that's gonna go. Anyway, it, they blew through, Nora's being so cute, she's just staring at me and smiling. The storms blew through, everyone was safe. All of our family members locally were safe as well. Um, we all got a good night's sleep. Like I said, Riley's been fiddling around with his truck. I'm gonna get myself together and um, we're gonna go for another family drive. He's just, I mean, it's so fun. It really is fun for all of us to enjoy. He's had that, his other truck he had for so, so, so many years close to two decades and um, it was high time um, for something new that his old one kept breaking down. We kept having issues with it just because it was wearing out. And so I'm just really happy for him to, to have a vehicle that's functional and it has some of the bells and whistles and he just, he deserves it. I'm just excited for him. So we're gonna go spend some time as a family driving around again today. It also feels really good to get out of the house and go drive down some country roads, to be honest with you. Um, and we'll see where the day takes us. Groundhog day, <laughs> number whatever, 50 or something at this point. Riley and I and Nora came out um, for a ride in Riley's truck. We've been in and out of the truck all day. And we just stopped at Dairy Queen 
and we got a Oreo cheesecake blizzard and a s'mores blizzard. S'mores is our all-time favorite blizzard, but the Oreo cheesecake sounded good, so we're gonna try them both. I'm sitting in the back seat with Nora, um, but we're gonna enjoy these and drive around a little more. It's a really pretty night out. It's like 75 degrees and breezy. Makes me wish I was somewhere like Disney. This would be good Disney weather, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Coffee bar update, look what came in. This really cute wooden tray. I picked the antique to white finish. There's several different finishes. And I put it up there and I love it. I wanted a little spot to hold the syrup. So what I think I'm gonna do is just put our most used Nespresso pods into a jar and have that here and then get rid of the other two. So it'll be like this. And that'll be just nice and neat, everything tucked away. I love that. I think it looks really cute. This would be so pretty. You could totally use this little tray in like a bathroom or, sorry, it's having a hard time focusing because it's pretty dark in here. Riley's putting Nora down. I have talked many, many times about these bottles and these labels. The bottles are from Amazon. The labels are from Church Street Designs. I will link both in the more info bar below. And this is from an Etsy shop called Country Home and Heart. So I will link that below as well if you want to check it out. But I'm loving, loving our little setup. I ordered some more pods today, um, some more Nespresso capsules. These are super cool because they're, um, made with aluminum and so they're recyclable so they provide free recycling bags with your order and then you just recycle them really really neat so there you go but little coffee bar update super cute hey guys it is about 12 30 <laughs> on um it's thursday i believe and I just wanted to show you what I'm up to. I'm about to put Nora in her little seat here at the bar to play with her little Tupperware containers. Today she is six months old, six months old. So I am going to make her a little cake for her half birthday. It's not really for her, it's for me and Riley. <laughs> but you know what? We just gotta find little things to celebrate right now. So I figured I would make her a little cake for her half birthday. Here's my big six month old little girl playing, sitting in her seat like a big girl. I'm gonna bake her a cake. She is still very happily playing with a variety of kitchen things, aren't you? And, um, okay. I rarely bake cakes and I totally forgot that you have to split the batter into two of these pans. So I just put it all in one and it's the biggest, also our oven's disgusting, but it is the biggest mess. So like, mm, TBD if that works out. Happy six month birthday, Nora. <laughs> All right, it's not half bad. I flipped it over while it was still warm, hoping that that would kind of help basically smash the bottom down. <laughs> you know, or the top actually, smash the top. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect. I just thought it would be fun. My plan, the reason why I wanted it to be circular is because I want to <laughs> cut it in half and then stack this half on this half so that it's half of a cake. Like it's a two layer cake, but it's half of a cake because it's half, she's half of a year old. That was my plan. I think I can still make it work. I'm gonna let this cool down. Yeah, I'm gonna let this cool down. It cooked all the way through and um, <sighs> Yeah, we're gonna see if we can redeem this. That was a disaster there for a minute. All right, I'm doing my weekly strawberry slicing with my hard boiled egg slicer. I've showed this, shown this multiple times in recent vlogs, but 
it's just been so great for all the strawberries we've been eating lately. I will link it below for those of you who are laughing and thinking, but you've linked it below 87 other times. If I don't link it below this one time, I'll have five people ask me, can you please send me the link? So I'm just gonna go ahead and link it. Um, really awesome, so fast, works so well. And you get these perfect little strawberry slices. Well, look at this, I salvaged it. And here it is, exactly half a cake. <laughs> Hold on, Norna, one second. So I went ahead and cut it in half like I intended and it worked out really well. Listen, it's not winning any um, awards, but it's really cute. It's exactly what I wanted. It's all pink and strawberry-ish and it's half a cake for Nora's half birthday. I love it. I'm very pleased with it. Just a little bit more footage of this cake because I'm so proud that it worked out. I was sure that it was all over when it was in that oven just spilling over, but I'm so excited. A little half strawberry cake for my little half birthday baby girl. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. <laughs> then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. <laughs> they shouted, it's a miracle. <laughs> we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished <laughs> with a bow. <laughs> Then he raised his head up and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. It's taco night. Riley did his shells again. But this time he put, what'd you put, cayenne pepper? No, um, chipotle. Chipotle. Yum. Nora. Nora, Nora, we just had taco night and we let Nora have some food. As you can see, she really, Hello. you really enjoyed it. She would like some more. She, her favorite was avocado. Charlie's having a great time <laughs> getting all the food that she dropped. One last shot of my strawberry cake. Riley and I had a slice after dinner and it was so, so yummy. And look, I just can't believe it turned out after that disaster. I thought it was, I never thought we were recovering from that. So anyway, I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Good morning for me and my proudest creation ever. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm so obsessed with this stupid cake. <laughs> it's literally box cake mix. I just can't believe it turned out. Wow, you guys. And it was really good, I have to say. It was so delicious. Good morning. <laughs> my cake is still in frame. <laughs> I'm losing it during this quarantine, let me tell you. Um, Hey, good morning, it's Friday. It never feels like Friday. It feels like every day is just who even knows. I, um, well we as a family, we had such, I'm a, I'm a disaster, had such an amazing day yesterday for Nora's. I hadn't even planned on doing anything for Nora's six month birthday other than just take, I take a picture of her every month. Um, but when I was doing my grocery order, I thought, you know, I'll just throw in some cake mix and if I have the time, I'll make a little cake for her. And then I thought, oh, it'd be fun to make half a cake. And then we ended up doing a big taco night and we put her at the table with us in her little clip on high chair for the first time and um, fed her. She got to eat some avocado and it was just like so fun. It was such a fun day. And earlier in the day, she and I took a long walk and then Riley on his way home from work came and met up with us and took a walk with us at the park. And um, that was really nice. And then we bathed her last night and she fell asleep on my chest like she did when she was tiny and I just rocked her to sleep. And it was just like a milestone day that I wasn't expecting. And I'm so grateful for it. It was just really, it was one of those days where I just felt Probably it was the best day so far of this whole quarantine and I just felt so blessed and um, just so grateful for my little girl and we got to celebrate six months of life, six months of parenting her, six months of breastfeeding, six months of her being alive and her beautiful life. It was just an amazing day. Um, so 
really, it was awesome. I'm gonna get up here, well I'm up obviously. I'm going to um, get something to eat, I'm really hungry. And um, just kind of get the day going here. But I wanted to check in and just, I wanna remember how special her little half birthday was. Um, unexpectedly, it was such an amazing day. So I hope you guys have had at least a day like that recently where you weren't expecting it to be much and it turned out to be something really nice, so. Right, Nora? Yeah. She's so sweet. All right, I'm gonna get my day going. One of my favorite things to do is to listen to the Disney Parks background music, the music that they play throughout the parks. Obviously, that's why it's called background music. Um, so if you go on your Spotify account and search for Disney Parks background music, there's a whole playlist and it's wonderful. Cake check. All right, it's lunchtime now, and I am making a Reuben sandwich for myself. This was a staple in my childhood home growing up, and it was in Riley's too, which is funny. So if you aren't familiar, this is a sandwich that is rye bread with sauerkraut, corned beef, Swiss cheese, and Thousand Island dressing. I don't know where it came from, but it is so delicious, and, um, I was able to snag all the ingredients, so we've been eating them for lunch this week. Me and Nora are out here taking a walk. It's a beautiful day for a walk. It's like 80 degrees and sunny and breezy. So we're just walking together. Hopefully she falls asleep and takes a nap. That would be a great nap, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm sitting here in my office listening to another true crime podcast. True crime has been adding spice to my life right now because it's just been day in day out so i was recommended this podcast by one of you southern fried true crime i've listened to i listened to the latest episode and then i just went back to the very beginning and i really like it so far marty and pjs i have printed a bunch of shipping labels what i wanted to show you was this gorgeous portrait that a wonderful woman named Candace made for me and it's based off actually it's the the um, photo I have on the background of my phone let me see if I can pull it up here so it's based on this picture from Nora's newborn session how incredible is that and um, Candace made this for us as a little Mother's Day gift and sent it to me. And she has an Etsy shop where she does these custom family portraits. That is so cool. Her Etsy shop is called Dandy Roo Designs. D-A-N-D-Y-R-O-O -O Designs. I'm going to link both her Etsy shop and her Instagram below. Let me show you her Etsy shop because you could seriously Okay, here's her Etsy shop, Dandy Rue Designs. Oh, I wanna get this for everyone in my life. This is such a good, good gift. Really awesome gift. Oh, and she does custom homes too. <gasps> Candace, you are amazing. Look how sweet these are. I should get one for my sister with Henry. She would love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm gonna link those below. A great small shop to support. And thank you, Candace, for this amazing oh i love it i love it it's adorable i have been walking a lot this week and i got a bit sunburned i need to be better about wearing sunscreen every day i know those of you who are skincare people are like wear your sunscreen especially with my fair skin i just have forgotten but i'm gonna get back on it i promise i promise um i wanted to do a little shout out to Stephen and Kelly Moore from Missouri because they are celebrating their 14th wedding anniversary on May 6th. And Stephen sent me a really sweet message saying that his wife Kelly has enjoyed my videos and that um, he just wanted to see if I would just do a quick shout out for her. So I don't normally do this, but 14 years is a long time and I'm really, really happy and excited for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful 14th wedding anniversary. So. Happy, happy, happy wedding anniversary to Stephen and Kelly. Look at this beautiful baby. Her shirt says mama's girl, you can kind of see it. And my shirt says mama, and we match. So first I want to show you my cake again. 
then I want to show you the types. We have tried a lot of different types of Nespresso. We have the Nespresso Vertuo machine. I will put a link to it below. I get questions about it all the time. Bless you, baby. We absolutely love it. So I wanted to show you our favorite pods. All of the pods look like this um, to some degree. There are some are bigger, smaller, depending. So these are all coffee pods. These, each one of these brews a 7.77 ounce cup of coffee. These are not espresso, this is coffee. So I'm gonna, these are the five of our favorites. This one is the caramel one. It has like a, these are like very lightly flavored. They're not sweetened or anything like that. The caramel one is Riley's all time favorite. I love the vanilla custard pie. It has a really creamy flavor, um, but again, it's just, it's just coffee, it's not, um, oh my goodness. It's just coffee, it's not uh, just like flavored coffee. But that's what the pod looks like. The hazelnut muffin just tastes like hazelnuts, really good. This Melosio, if I butcher the pronunciation, I'm sorry, just let, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Um, this one is just like a really good mild coffee flavor on the side of each of them. They kind of tell you the strength. This one's a six out of 10. And then of course, decaf coffee, which is great for after dinner. Um, for having a cup of coffee after dinner. So those are our favorite coffees. Now onto espresso. Our two favorite double shots are the double espresso scuro and the Bianco Ligero. The Bianco Ligero is particu particularly delicious with milk. It's made for milk. Um, it even says that on the website. And it has this like, you know, white milky on the on it. Um, and so this is a double shot that I use all the time when I'm making lattes. And then this one is great for making other things. I love both of these for double shots of espresso. As far as single shots, this is our favorite. There are a whole bunch of different kinds of single shots. This Altissio is very strong. It's a nine, oh, it's out of 11. It's a nine out of 11. Um, so it's a really strong flavor. So if you like coffee, you'll like it. And then the other single shot that we really like is um, the decaf because then we can make, we'll pull one or two of them and make a latte after, or cappuccino or whatever after dinner, and it won't have the caffeine in it. So I will link these below. We have bought them both off of Amazon and off of the Nespresso website itself. It just sort of depends on how big of an order we're doing. If we're just topping off, I'll usually just get it from Amazon, and if we're doing like every three or four months, we tend to buy a lot of boxes. Like we'll buy like 10 boxes to carry us through. Um, I'll buy directly from the Nespresso website. So I've been getting a lot of questions about this. I hope this is helpful for those of you who are wondering. These are the coffees that we like. These are the double shots that we like. And this is our favorite single shot along with, I don't have a, a tube for it, but along with the decaf. <laughs> and in the fridge, we've got some chicken cooked up for nuggies. And in the fridge, we have some beans for nuggies. And in the fridge, we have some Taco me for nuggies. And some chicken for nuggies. <laughs> and we have a big chicken nuggie right here. We have a chicken nuggie right here. <laughs> and we have some chicken nuggies. Hey guys, I'm up here at my in my front room. It's 9.53. Gosh, it doesn't feel like it's that late. It's almost 10. Um, on Friday night and I am working on Etsy just it's just covering this front room they're stacked on the couches they have them stacked back right here <laughs> these are the orders that I am going to package up to ship out tonight so I thought I would wrap this vlog up because I just offloaded the footage onto my computer and I have more than enough way more than you probably ever wanted to see of me obsessing about a boxed mix cake and talking about virtually nothing for a week so I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I might take a break from weekly vlogs for the next two or three weeks. Um, I just feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over. And I know some of you are gonna say, but we love the weekly vlogs, please keep posting them. So I'm not sure yet. I'm not making any um, stances. I'm gonna continue with posting videos, but I'm just saying that I might not, um, I, might, I might just take a few weeks off from doing weekly vlogging just like I said, I, I just feel like we need to space it out so that maybe there'll be something new and interesting for me to share other than taking walks, eating, Etsy, 
and cute clips of Nora. Um, that said, if you have any video suggestions, feel free to pop them below. I always like to hear from you guys. I'm trying to think what else. Obviously my Etsy shop's open if you wanna check it out. Um, thank you so much for watching and for supporting me. I have been posting Sunday mornings, Tuesday mornings, and Thursday mornings. I think this is the seventh week or eighth week that I have done that, which I'm really, to be honest, really proud of myself for. It is um, takes a concerted effort, especially when I'm in the middle of Etsy chaos to post three videos a week, but it's been something that's been a really good goal for me. It's been something to set my mind on during this time. So anyway, might be taking off from the weekly vlog um, for a couple of weeks. I'm still gonna be around, so it might go down to Tuesday and Thursdays instead of Sunday, Tuesday and Thursdays, but I'll be around. I'm on Instagram, of course. And other than that, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your Etsy orders. Thank you for your comments. I just appreciate all of it so much. So much more than you know. I really, really appreciate it. So if you go out and make an amazing boxed mix cake this week, tag me on Instagram. We can celebrate together. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>